Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke Ardu and welcome to Ignited Entry. Uh, this game was recommended to me on a Discord channel that I'm in and I'm pretty excited. Uh, they said it was really good. No further ados, none of them. Let's get into this game. Mm. He was a fireman, bold and true. Until one night the flames withdrew. Oh. Uh huh. A mother and son lost to the blaze, their lives cut short in a fiery haze. The father saw the firemen arrive, but ran in first, too fearful of time. That one didn't rhyme. Through smoke and flame, he couldn't stay. The firemen pulled him and rushed him away. The father passed, his family gone and the fireman's guilt would linger on. He left the job, tried to stand tall, but the silence broke with a sudden phone call. Okay. Hmm. <gasps> coffee, 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 coffee. Oh. Hello? Hey, who's this? Hey, it's your brother, Jason. Hey, Jason. <laughs> Long time no see. How have you been? Yeah, it's been a while. I've been busy. Busy. Yeah, I noticed. Haven't heard from you in months. What's going on? Look, I don't really have time for small talk right now. I need a favor. Oh. Okay. What's I'm up? Coming out and I need some help. Thought maybe my dear brother could spare a few hours. Oh. Moving out? <coughs> you could have given me a heads up. <laughs> Why now all right of a sudden? Happens, all right? Look, I don't need to explain myself to you. Can you help or not? Well, I guess I can help. Great. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. Oh, you mean like right now, right now? Okay, I guess. So, how have you been? been Nothing special been going on, really. Just the same old routine, I guess. I can actually hear him, like, right here. Because I'm looking out the window. Interesting. Yeah, I guess. I don't see- I didn't see what it said. What was that? Probably just a church bell or something. Anyway, are you still looking for a new job? Yeah... I wanted to make a difference, to be the one who saved lives. But when you fail to save someone, it breaks you. And no one tells you how to carry that weight. I see. Wait, what? That's not a church bell, it's nearby. Pull over where that noise is coming from. Jason, pull over the goddamn car. <laughs> Jason? Oh, I can move now. Oh. You look good. Rose's End. I've been here before. The house burnt down, and I was there to save the family that was trapped inside. But I didn't make it in time. The sound is coming from inside the house. We should check it out. Yeah, sure, I guess. Your lips don't move. Neither of us are wearing seatbelts and I'm a firefighter. The only firefighter I know in real life is always adamant about seatbelt usage. Okay. Oh. That's weird. That's a weird interface system, but all right. I was using WASD to like select the yes and no. That was kind of a little weird. Oh, I can I can peek. Hmm. Looks like they like 
propped it up, but I guess. Uh-huh. Read note. I don't know why there's just like straight grass. It would still be floor, but like whatever. We remember the symbol. That's not what all that says. What does this symbol mean? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Ignited entry created by Jordan Lindgren. That was a really fun little sequence there. Oh. It's my brother. Are you tying me down? Why? Or am I just like injured and you're patching me up? Oh, okay, bye brother. See you never, I guess. Oh, I'm so tired, I can't keep my eyes open. Come on. A rose's end. So that must be what the house looked like before. Oh, it's the symbol. A symbol has been cut onto your flesh. Yeah, I see that. Was that my brother? Was my brother the one who cut the symbol into me? Hmm. See, okay, if this is the house that burned down outside, up, up there, I guess. If this is the house that burned down, it would still have a floor. It's got like this whole porch area, even if it was collapsed. Are those options? Like, can I say no and just like leave? A searing pain and then I see it carved into my flesh, the symbol of my fate. This mark binds me to a destiny I cannot escape. That's like a slant rhyme. I'll give you that one. Objective. Fine. Door won't budge. Yeah, okay. Door is locked. Picture of house. What is this place? Who are you? It's burning. And there's blood on this door. Yummy. That's probably copyrighted, right? Oh, it's just gonna loop that? Nice. Oh! Hey. Hey, stop that. Stop. Okay. Reception. Jason? Rope needed. A rope. Tab for inventory. A rope that supports a lot of weight. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna find Jason. Door is locked. Never mind. I'm gonna descend into the abyss. I need a rope. <laughs> there we go. What if I say no? Oh, well, all right. Descend. I can't, like, move around while I do that. Okay. You could have just cut. Hmm. 
reception. Okay, Steve. An identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. Uh huh. Stand still. How strange! The cause of your death is lagged in my database. Oh, it's because I'm not dead. Oh, yeah, see, so you catch on fast. Um, one of those, like, uh, things, you know? A hatch? A hatch was in- the hatch was in a previously burnt down building where the family inside died in the house fire. There's another fellow who goes by the name Brother Jason. Brother, Brother Jason. Brother Jason. You two have matching DNA. Which means that brother Jason is your brother who is named Jason. <laughs> the hatch also means that an entity in this school has invited you or your brother here for an unknown reason. The hatch is unable to separate invitations between shared DNA of siblings, which is why the two of you are here. Oh, it's music. Okay. What now? I don't know what he said at the end. I decided to run out the grave without a valid death permit. I will release you to free your own death until the ones who brought you here decided to take you back. But before Thanks. you go, I am required to die you with the memory plasma. <gasps> this is used to relive all the memories by pairing it with a memory orb in order to come to life insanity. I would advise you to stick to your own memory orbs. Unless you like peeking into other people's memories. Who says I don't? Anyways, Thanks. You will now be transferred to. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Wow. Fantastic. This is great. I love this. This is amazing. Best game of the year. Location Visitor Glide? Hello. Welcome aboard on the visitor glide. You are currently being transported to the aftergrave of your inviter. Oh, there's a TV. You will arrive shortly. Okay, cool, thanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the TV for? A welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately three seconds. Ah, it's a Vahus tape. Thank you. Vahus tape. I, oh, right, equip. Eh. Eh, the only complaint I have is the menu navigation. Other than that, we're good. Just give me a mouse. But, like, whatever. Hello? I can't crouch or anything. In a horrifying incident that has shocked the community, a house fire has resulted in the loss of three lives as it appears to be <laughs> The victims have been identified as <laughs> and her 12-year-old son. Tragically, the father <laughs> also lost his life in the hospital a few days later from lung damage and a heroic attempt to rescue his family upon discovery. <laughs> Hmm. I remember these names. Yeah, I bet you it's the family that died. They want to say hello. Give me some encouragement. Tell me I should keep being a firefighter. I'm sure that's why they call me here. Location, Chase Emily after grave. Look at this big bed. Hmm. Windows. Never mind. 
find a password for the windows. I can't interact with any of this. Are you Emily? Mm hmm. Nothing. 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 Oh, Emily, where are you? Oh. Oh. Oh, but I only have four uses left. How, what if I, hmm. Well, I'm, I'm sure I only need four useless. Emily's eyes. Laundry. After that again, our dryer is too small for this guest room load. Oh, my phone. Hey babe, quick question. Hey did you babe. Did happen to change the computer password? Oh yeah, I did actually. I meant to tell you, but it completely slipped my mind. No worries, it happens to the best of us. Why the change, though? Well, our little tech wizard son has been spending more time on the computer than on his schoolwork lately. Mm. So I thought a little password change might redirect his attention. Ah, I guess. Sneaky move. That's, so that's a where's the new fine parenting hack, hack I guess. Time? Behind the dryer in the utility room. <laughs> Figured it would be a safe bet. Got it. Thanks for keeping things in check, Arlen. Anything that's where she keeps here, her exactly. passwords. Death Registry, Emily Turner, 1975 to 2013. Burned alive. Password, Chase Turner 21. Hello? Oh, thank you so much for leaving that open. It's considerably darker in this hallway now. Chase Turner 21. Well, I do now. Daphne! What are you doing? That's Daphne. Okay. <gasps> Thanks! Under the bed! Sweet. Behind me. Yeah, whatever. Check under the bed. It's a monster. Grab the key. And I assume this key is for the room in the hallway. Sounds like you need help. Oh dear. Hide. Emily 
really know. I think he's here now. Oh, it's Chase. Are you sure it's him? Yes. I saw the symbol on his arm. It's him. Hey guys, um, you invited me, right? Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I thought I had a key. Oh, I do have a key. I have to equip it. Unlock. Enter. So, is this gonna be Chase's room or? The robot saw Chase's tears and pain and gave him an arcade to ease his strain. Play, little one, it softly said. Let joy and games soothe your dread. I mean, I guess, if you're a kid that goes into the afterlife who really likes video games, you better have some video games in your after chases zone. Is a lot darker than Emily's. We have blood on the walls. He's sad. He is sad. Oh, hello. Hey, Chase. Uh, brother! What the hell are you doing, Jason? Stop following me. Stop following me. Why? Why wouldn't I follow you? You're my brother. Oh, I need a key for that. Yeah, call the elevator. Call the elevator, that's not- <laughs> I didn't expect- I, th I thought it wasn't a real door. Chase, I don't... I don't like your key. Key to what? Can open a breaker box. Alright. I'm not even gonna look down that hallway. Don't care. I'm not exploring nothing. I got the key to the breaker box. That's all I needed. Right. Open it. Fuses. Guess I gotta go back. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, round. Okay. Get Chase. Is your name Chase? Because you're gonna chase me? I got it. Chase. If we win this game with Pong, we should have enough tokens for the main prize. All right. Who's going first? I'll take care of this one. Chase Turner. 2001 to 20 and 2013. He was only 12. Burned alive. Woof. Do I need to play Pong to get the... Mm. This is gonna go well. Win for a prize. Player one. Versus... Chase. Okay. I'll play Chase. How, oh, I have to switch over to the the arrow keys. Why? Is he breathing down my neck? What the heck? Mm-hmm. 
This is easy. Oh, oh, I almost missed that. Fuses. Oh, bye, Chase. Chase, wait, I want to apologize. Of course, that's when I first run. Chase, wait, I would like to apologize to you. I wanted to save you. I wanted to save you. I tried. <laughs> okay. F oh, uh, foo, foos, fooses. There we are. <laughs> the elevator. It kind of sucks that your afterlife is like everything related to your death, though. But like, all right. Can I go now? Spooky. Did I die again? So? Am I still in Chase's domain? Oh, what's this? Mm, oh, this must be William's domain. Uh, we're back at reception. Ba ba da da ba da da. Ba da 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 ba ba. Oh my gosh, she's gonna jump scare me again. Oh my god! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, you absolute pussy! <laughs> Anyways, I have been sent over to inform you that an individual from another afterlife has requested a visit to call with your name on it. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? I have spawned a phone for you to use. I bit fell into the rooms. Thanks, man. Good oh. job, Percy. We only had our shot out of phone time between visitors and the dead. So I, I can make it quick. I can respect that. Shots off! <laughs> You're so obnoxious. A phone! Hello, is it William? Yes. Oh, there's two symbols on that door. Hey, you don't know me that well, but I know you. Yep. I'm not allowed to speak to the visitor phone for too long, so listen very closely. Uh huh. You need to keep moving forward. Eventually, you will find the after grave exit. Well, right now I'm stuck talking to you. And you will be safe from them. Okay. From there. I've arranged the visitor's wife to come pick you up and take you to my location. Who are you? We have to talk. Good luck. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Well, I clearly can't go in the other room. Matchbox. Jason's matches. Oh. When ignited, these matches have the ability to dissolve anything bearing the symbol. <laughs> Ew, fancy, fancy. Jason, why you got these matches? You been here before, bro? Are you just leaving clues for me to find? Hey, security cameras. Uh, matches. Oh, 
there's lots of things in here. This can be ignited. Okay. Hi, Mom! I hear you singing in your room. I tried to open the door, but I don't know where the key is. When you're done singing, can you come to my room and play Pong with me? Chase. Yeah, sure. Why would I light these books on fire? This is such a lovely library. But I have all of these symbols to light on fire. Mm-hmm. Key needed. I don't want to light it all on fire. Look at that nice house. <sighs> all right, fine. I will light it on fire, but I don't want to. Oh. I only have a cross. What are you, what is this? Oh, there's another one. I feel like we need the triangle piece and a little circle, but. Ah, there it is. I knew I was missing something. Okay. Nope, not you. Bam. How come I couldn't ignite that, but I can ignite this? The key. Thanks for the puzzle. There we go. More a library. Exit? Whatever this means, it has to do with this diary. I need to find the key to this. Diary key needed. And I can't see a thing. Yes, we go through the door. I have a feeling I'll be going upside down. Enter the hatch or go through the door. I'm gonna go through this other door first. Oh well. The crank for the well is missing. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. But the key could be down there. Gotta find the missing crank. No. I gotta go down the hatch. What is with that? On the ceiling. I will enter the hatch. It's like an interactive loading screen. It's kind of a long ladder. We made it. I have yet to go up one of those yet. So, uh, William, you spend some time in some sewers or something here? Or, uh, like, what's this about? The door has been locked behind you. Yeah, I heard the click. Camera equipment? Empty room. We love those. Oh, I'm gonna be lost in here. But I need a key. 
I'm just gonna keep taking lefts. Maybe we follow the blood on the floor. Oh, there's a water jug there. Oh. A target? I can't interact with this at all. You back up exit. Back backup exit generator. So, what's that? Okay, is there anything else in this room? Oh, the key. The key that I needed. Oh, the crank. The... stuck here, I can't move. Am I having a psychotic episode? Oh! <laughs> Ow, I kicked my chair! Use matches to see in the dark. Yeah, okay. I was doing that earlier, but you didn't let me. Ignite. Okay. Okay. You need to power the exit generator so I can... Oh, I need to power the exit generator so I can get out of here. But the backup generator is out. And I take a right and then a left. But we're gonna figure that out. When we get there. is this? I went the wrong way. I go out of this door. I take... I go the way I didn't go before. I need to go... And then make a little up and back up straight after I go through that door and then go that way, which is right. And then I take another and then I take a left. Okay. So this way out and up straight right and this way. Generator. I can hear the kitten meowing for me. Yeesh. 
Is she still here? just go out and hang a hang it right maybe that's it where she just was to go left. Right was the way to go all the way around to the generator. Yes. <laughs> you should be humming... that whole time that whole time okay this way the lights didn't turn on because that would be a little scary but she's still right there yeah just doing her little thing it's hard to hear her over the generator now? What's happening here? Oh. Use the crank. Ah, yes. The crank. The crank. That rope totally looks like it's going down. The key, it's a little fishing key, he. That's cute. Emily's diary. This hidden key belongs to Emily's personal diary. I don't know that I really want to read that in order to get out of here, but I guess that's the only option I have. Oh no, we went that way. That must be where I came out of to land right here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, diary key. Duh! Look, now it's a door. I like the use of all the Duh! magic. <laughs> it's great. Page one. Ooh. Now I'm in a diary. Literally. In a minecart. 
We're going for a ride, apparently. Keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Thank you. And please enjoy your ride. It may be just isn't what I expected it to be. Is it ever really? Is anything ever really what you expect it to be? Me and Chase have been assigned to this thing called an aftergrave. Hey, reception man. I've understood. It's an extension of the place you were at when you died. Mm-hmm. We both got killed in our home, so that explains the enormous house at least. The house. I hope William is doing okay without me and Chase. Where's William? Did I William miss him so much? William must have lived. I thought the family died. Where's William? The broom scars still haven't gone away. Oh. I don't recognize my little boy's beautiful face. But he doesn't recognize mine either. I could still see the skin peeling from his flesh. Or did William just go to a different place for some reason? But that's okay. I just hope he can still look at my face and recognize me as his mother. Page three. The music in this game, I either I, I actually quite the enjoy. Showed me the way to invite people into my aftergrave by using their DNA. Uh huh. I don't know the name of the man who said it, but. He left his matchbox in the house after he killed us. And I think I found it in our aftergrave. Did Jason kill this family? If you've gotten far enough to find the key to my diary, then you're probably the person I'm writing this to. I think I'm, you're writing to Jason. I don't know your name. I don't know why you did what you did, but I do remember that symbol. It's the only thing that I saw, and it's the only thing I won't forget. Jason killed this family. Jason, no wonder why you've been away for months. It's orange. Why is it orange? I would like to see why it is orange. See, I knew it. I knew it. Jason's eyes. Only you. I didn't know which version it was going to go for. So Jason's in a cult. It is an honor for us to have prepared this ritual for you. Will you do the honors? Yes, we did. Jason's in a cult. I, I rather like the TikTok version first. The better, you know, the only you. Oh, I'm playing Jason now. why he cut the symbol into my arm. He's trying to put the blame on me so that he can get out of here alive. But the truth should still be etched into his skin. And also, like, I have these memory glasses, so I could just be like, yo, I'm a firefighter. I showed up at the scene of the crime. To save y'all. How do I get out of minecart? I must have just climbed out, but whatever. With each sacrifice we gain, the fella, the fallen's life we obtain, growing stronger by the hour, in hell we'll wield unmatched power. Okay. Cult is a cult. What else is new? Ooh. Location. Chase and Emily's balcony. Oh, goodbye. 
That's the visitor glide the guy on the phone sent me. I just need to make it to the visitor glide visitor station. I don't know why I want to go down, but apparently I want to go down. Oh, I make more. I don't know how magic these matches are, but apparently they're pretty frickin' magic. Emily and Chase. Oh. Likes it wrote. Mm. One equals five. I had to switch to the other things. Three equals nine. Jason. Two equals five. Five, five, nine. Sweet. A key. Door is locked. I need a key. Wow. Now the door is gone. That should take me to the visitor station. Yes, it should. That is what the guy on the phone said. Oh, except it said it was, he said it was gonna take me to his place. The gate will open with a touch when inviters handprints mean so much. Can't go that way. I guess we go this way. Oh, I can't read these. Why? Why am I doing that? Why? Why? Who? Who was the developer, Jordan? What the freak? What is this? Move Chase's real corpse. Grody. I have a corpse. Is he alive? He's freaking breathing. Mm. Also, this man is way too old. Place inviter. Guess we're gonna go get mom. Family reunion. Yeah, I heard the walking. Bet you it's frickin' Jason. Hello. Oh my gosh, she's freaking singing. Move Emily's real corpse. Why is it gotta be the real ones? Hi, Emily. Your song is gorgeous, by the way. I think you're a good singer. Oh my God, this is so morbid. Right. Just get you around the little pedestal here. Place her there. Look at that. All right. I don't want to go this way. I'm just gonna just don't even think about it. You know what? Just get out of here. Can we leave yet? Oh hey, another phone call. You probably know the truth by now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do, you bitch. Only one of us is allowed to exit this place. Mm -hmm. And the family will kill you before you make it to the visitor station. But don't worry, brother. You're a bad brother. Summoned together by mistake, only one can escape. One brother seeks the door to keep his dark lore, leaving the other to fate. It's still not really a rhyme, but whatever. Visitor station. Hmm. So William just must not be dead. They must have broken into this house. Hello. Um, they must have broken into his house while William was gone and killed the two of them. Which is awful. I would hate to be the dad. That's a long hallway. Yeah, okay. Chase sequence. All right, let's go. I didn't really know where to go. Ah. Let me get through it. Let me through. Let me through. Oh my gosh. Oh. Can you not? That'd be great. This one's got stakes. It wasn't me. Okay. Let me through. Let me through. Now I'm dead, I guess. Stop! Stop! Come on now! What have I told you to about trying to go outside you after they bought us? Mm. You don't understand. That guy over there, he's the reason why we're here. And what makes you say that? That symbol on his arm. The man who killed us had the same one. He's the one who killed us. <laughs> well, an individual who goes by the name William Turner. That's the fireman was trying to save you two. Wait. What? Well, that would mean that it rather is the one that killed you. Mm-hmm. He's got a real tattoo on his arm. While this little good sir all just seems to have gotten that conveniently shaped scratch. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Damn. What's going on? Is William here too? Was this poor guy uh, trying to save us? Is his brother still here? I... Uh, forget I ever said anything. No, you have to Steve. tell me more. Stop that. Steve! I don't know what you're talking about, but it looks like you two have passed outside of your aftergrave borders. And that means I have to send you back to your aftergrave. Ta -ta. Tell him that we're... Steve's scary. Can I please leave? Location, visitor station, yeah. Oh good, the freaking train's open. Never mind, that's not a door. That's an open door. Jason, where the f are you? You've got some answering to do. Hello, and welcome aboard on the visitor glide. Oh yeah, I have somewhere else. You are currently being transported to the to be. of your invited. You will arrive shortly. Yeah, this guy I'm excited to meet. Is it William? A 
welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately three seconds. Is it gonna be... Mm. There's no TV in here. A shard? Okay. William rushed into the flames to save his family. Brave and bold, overcome by smoke, he fell. His story tragically told. Rescued by the firemen, he brought in the hospital's dim. He fought in the hospital's dim light, but lung damage claimed him, turning day into endless night. Yeah, that's what gets you. You just run in there and you, <gasps> and then you die. Don't do that. Just let the firefighters do it. That's what they have the, all the equipment for. Location somebody's after grave. It's Williams. I've been here before. Yeah, it's the freaking hospital. William? Hopefully this is gonna be a much better experience, although I'm not entirely sure. Jason's probably still here. But I guess I'm gonna go talk to William. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, thank God. You made it. He's in an iron lung. I was worried they were going to catch up to you in the hallway. Yeah. Why did you want me to come here? And... Who are you? That's William! You idiot! That's William! I don't think so. Well then, let me refresh your memory. Alright, I only have one use of this left. Registry William Turner. Will Turner. Saved by firemen. 1974 to 2013. His death was not caused by being saved. Oh, okay. Death in hospital from lung damage. See, there you go. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. I wish I could have saved you the, and the rest of your family. You were the only one that I managed to retrieve from the fire. You would be alive if I had stopped you from running inside of that house. I'm so sorry, William. Don't say that. You did the best you could. That's more than enough. Thanks. Thank you. I see a bell. Am I gonna ring for Steve again? Why do you have this surveillance system? This world is heavily surveilled so that the dead won't try to go outside of their after great borders. Usually the only ones that have access to the security system are the ones with authority in this world. But there's this guy in this world that you've probably met. The robot. Well, he... cares. He gave me this system so I could watch over my family Ever since the day I got this, I've been staring at the screen, waiting for the day my family would find and invite the person that they have been looking for. Mm -hmm. And then, you two came along. 
The imitation system only accepts one person at a time. But I guess you two mess up the system by being in the same place at the wrong time. I guess you could say that. And I instantly knew what was going on when I saw the symbol he cut into your flesh. Yeah. Why are you not with your family in this world? Honestly, I wish I died in that house fire. Because that would mean I would be with them right now. I died in the hospital. And that was enough for them to separate our aftergraves. And as every day goes by, it hurts even more to not be there with them. I miss them so much. William? Why did you want me to come here? Because you're our only hope. This world is like a threshold to the afterlife. A waiting area where we need to find peace with our demise before we can cross over into the true afterlife, leaving our limbo state behind. Some do it by just letting time pass by. But in our case, time will never heal our wounds. If you avenge us, we can cross over into the true afterlife. I will be with my family again. I can't murder Please, my Please, help us before it's too late. And help yourself before it's too late. What do you mean, before it's too late? Let me just show you. Your brother is on his way to leave this world through the visitor exit as we speak. The portal only opens for one visitor per invitation. If he passes through, it will close. Your brother is trying to trap you here for all eternity. It's pretty rude of him. That's a pretty shitty brother thing to do. Get rid of you by giving you something worse than death. Spending an eternity alive. Don't worry. I know what I need to do. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> How will I make it to the visitor exit? The robot. Or should I say, the human. Have a look at the news article on my desk. Why? Do you call him the human? Receptionist dies in cult hotel fire. Oh. In a tragic accident, a hotel was set on fire by a cult, leaving behind a mysterious symbol on the wall. Thankfully, everyone managed to escape safely, except for the receptionist. Steve Elliott. Steve Elliott ensured that all the guests were evacuated, but sadly lost his life in the process. Woof. You will not only be saving us, but you'll be saving him as well. So he's not just the receptionist. Tell him everything you know, and he will definitely take you to the visitor exit. He will be free from his aftergrave. Okay. I got it. Ring the bell when you're ready, and you'll be teleported to the reception hall. And hey, don't look down on yourself because you couldn't save us back in the fire. Because you're saving all of us. Imagine if I don't actually kill my brother, but this is just like a weird dream drug trip that I'm having. Oh my god, where is he? Where is he? Where is Steve? Steve? Steve, I swear! Oh my god, okay. Wow. Hello there, there, bestie. Hi. How can I help you today? I can help you, Steve. I don't need any help. I don't need help with you. <laughs> but that's the offer. I know who you were, Steve. But that doesn't make any sense. Because I'm just a robot. <laughs> Steve Elliott. 
I know who killed you. Well, you know, I know the group, maybe not the actual Ooh. person. What? It was my brother, and he is on the way to the visitor exit. I might not have actually been my brother, but like, all right. You need to take me there so I can make things right. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Well, I'm only allowed to transport people to half the grave. I will get in trouble if I transport you to the next. No, you won't. I want to, like, grab his hand. Because I'm about to free you from your aftergrave. That's all I ever wanted. Okay. I will take you there. Are you ready to go? Yeah. That, like, voice filter on it? After this emotional... Okay. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm so excited! <laughs> I was finally going to say how I was going to my body and leave this much of place. I need to stop Jason from entering the portal and finish him once and for all. <laughs> Thank you. I can't. Oh. Very nice. Okay, Jason. Of course, he locked an empty frame. I miss him so much. The silence in this house is unbearable, and I ache for his touch, his voice, his presence. Nights are the worst, lying awake, wishing he was here to hold me. My heart feels so empty without him. Emily, August 11th. That's a big shard. I miss Dad. Dinner doesn't taste the same without him. He always made my favorite stuff, and it felt special, like it was just for me. The house feels weird and lonely, especially at night. I wish he was here to cook and play games with me. I miss him so much. Chase, August 17th.
unnecessary sacrifice. I need to avenge them. parents death registry jason anderson nineteen eighty nine to twenty fifteen burned alive I don't right, mean to yawn I it's it's twelve oh four Daniel An death registry Daniel Anderson 1987 to 2015. Lost his life to save them. Guess I don't have to tell my parents anything. I've always known my life might end protecting those who can't protect themselves. Daniel Anderson. If it means they get to hold their loved ones a little longer, then my sacrifice is a small price to pay. Must be the three of them plus Steve. <sighs> In their peace, I found mine too. Wow. Custom music and sound engineering by Jordan. Programming by Jordan. Wow. Old timey music. <laughs> Voice actors, a few, yeah. Eight bit Ryan, wow. Based on a true made up story. <laughs> game I think I've played all year. That was fantastic. That was so well done. You don't need a big fancy budget and a triple A game with a whole team of 40 people. It's just like one guy. That was crazy. I really liked that. Gosh. I'm like crying. That was such a good experience. That was incredible. That was really something. I don't know how I'm going to recover from that. Go support this developer, follow them. We need to support more developers with this kind of passion and this kind of creativity. It's a rare find. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming on this experience with me. Yeah, that's it. Bye.